Hello and welcome to the Z Hut. Today we're going to take a look at the DF Player Mini MP3 player. Now this can be used in two different ways as a standalone MP3 player, which is what I'm going to show you how to do today, or you could use this with your microcontroller, such as an Arduino or a Raspberry Pi or any device like that, and that you can communicate serially with the device. But uh, for this tutorial, we're just going to show how to use it as a standalone MP3 player. I will be doing another video here probably within the next week uh, on how to use this with an Arduino. So if you're interested in that, uh, please check back on the channel here in a few days. So what we'll do first is we'll um, take a look at it working and how it, the buttons are set up and then the components and then we'll go over to the computer and I'll bring up the data sheet and I'll show you all the different connections on the DF Player Mini itself. So first I'm powering this from a 9 volt wall wart and beans this um, the DF Player MP3 player can only handle between 3.2 volts and 5 volts so I'm just using a little um, voltage regulator circuit here that I put together quick that's optional. You can power this from a battery pack. Just make sure the voltage does not exceed 5 volts or it's going to fry it. It's, that's it. It's fried. But uh, yes, this could easily be um, run off batteries. All right, so I've got two push buttons. And um, the first one here, the top blue one, this one plays the next track. The white one plays the previous track. Also, if you long hold the blue button, the volume goes up. And if you long hold the white button, the volume will decrease, go down. So let's try it out here. I've loaded up some MP3s that I got off of YouTube's Creator Studio. So they're all royalty free. So there's going to be no copyright issues. But you can load any MP3s you have on here and it just uses a micro SD card that's the same thing that you'd have in your cell phone so let's try it out here and if I long hold oh, I had that backwards I guess the blue one decreases the volume and the white one increases it but as you can see if you long hold it you can change the volume and then press that button, plays the next track, press that one, plays the previous. And I've got three or four tracks that I put on here. You can put a lot more than that. Um, it specifies on the data sheet how many you can put on there, but it, it's a lot that you can have. It pretty much just depends on the size of your SD card. Now, like I said, you can use this with your microcontrollers, or you can also use it with a Raspberry Pi. But when you hook it up for that, um, you get a lot more control over it by using a serial communication. What we're doing here is I've just got the two push buttons, and they're on the, uh, the IO1 and IO2 pins of the DF player. And what you do is you just set it up so it brings it to ground. You don't put 5 volts to the board. What you're doing is you're grounding out the pin because there's already 5 volts on that pin. We'll turn that off. Okay. Um, there is also, you can hook two speakers up to this. There's two lines for speakers and there's two headphone lines as well. And we'll get to that in just a moment here when we get over the computer. And I'm just driving it with this little speaker, and surprisingly, it's pretty loud, just as is. But you could take and add a little LM386 audio amplifier circuit in with the speaker, and you probably could get some actually pretty decent volume out of this. All right, well, um, I'm going to fire the computer up, and I'll catch you over there in just a moment. We'll take a look at the data sheet. See you there. Okay, I have the website brought up here with the data sheet on the DF Player Mini. Um, <clears throat> I will have a link to this 
Um, and as well, I'll have some links to where to get these if you don't already have one on my website. And just look in the description below and you'll find a link to the website. And um, like I said, I'll have this data sheet on there and uh, some links to where you can get these if you don't already have one. And then I've got another video I did on how to use this to add sound effects to something. And I just made this little Bluetooth um, controlled fart machine. And you just use your Android device along with the uh, Arduino and a Bluetooth module. And I was using the HC06. So I will have a link to that video on the website as well. Otherwise, if you just check my channel out here on YouTube, I'm sure you'll find it. All right, so there is quite a bit of information on this data sheet, but what we are most interested in is this right here. It shows the pinout. So what we got here is you put your VCC, your voltage, and you want between 3.2 and 5 volts don't go over and if you go under I'm assuming it won't work then we have our RX and TX and this is for connecting your microcontroller to uh, use serial communication and there's a bunch of commands we'll get down to those here in a minute after we go over the pins then uh, this these two right here the DACR and DAC left that's for your speakers and the ones that say speaker, surprisingly, um, from the research I did, those are meant more for headphones. So these ones seem to put out a little more power. Then we have a ground. And as well, we have a ground over here. I wasn't sure if I had to hook both grounds up or if either one would work. So when I put the circuit together, I just <clears throat> connected both. Then we've got the, um, the busy. And that's just plain status whatever that's used for it i'm sure it says in the data sheet further down but i haven't used that yet then we have usb negative and usb positive and it says right here that's for usb part so i haven't really done any research into that but that might actually be for like connecting a flash drive or something so I don't know, I'm sure it says in the data sheet, I just haven't gotten around to reading that because so far the only got, thing I've used it for is a standalone MP3 player. I haven't used any of the serial with it or anything. And we've got our add keys and that just triggers first segment or play fifth segment. And once again, I haven't really used any of that. I've just been using this IO2 and IO1 and you hook them up right here. IO1, if it's triggered, which means you bring it low, the short press makes it play the previous and the long press to decrease the volume. Then IO2, the other trigger port, a short press to play the next track, long press to increase the volume. And by long press, I mean you hold the button down. That's all there is to that. And that's all we have for our connections. And uh, like I said earlier in the video, I will be doing one here probably within the week on how to actually set this up and use it with the serial communication with an Arduino board. Um, I don't currently have a Raspberry Pi, which technically isn't a microcontroller. It's like a mini computer, but you can use this with those as well. So and here's just a simple on this, the data sheet, a simple way to connect it up. And it's got some sample code for the Arduino board. And I'm guessing, yeah, this is for the serial communication. So I haven't gotten around to using this yet, but there is a lot of information on this uh, web page. So it'll be very helpful for anybody that's setting up and playing with one of these little modules. Let's see, scroll down. What else we got? Here's the serial mode, and these are the commands that you send, and these are the descriptions of what it will do and as you can see there is a lot more control over this if you're using serial than if you were just hooking it up with the two push buttons there's quite a bit more you can do so here's even a pause button playback um, repeat um, commercials I'm not quite sure what that's for stop playback I mean, there's tons of them, and here's more commands down here. And here's the information on the add key. I'm guessing that does something similar 
to what your serial commands would be, but it uses an array of push buttons. And once again, I haven't gotten around to messing with that either, but if you're interested in it, this data sheet's got like everything that you'll possibly want to know about how to use this. We go in here. Yeah, that's the end of the page. And if you don't find what uh, you needed on this page, there are a few others I noticed. Um, I don't think this is the actual data sheet from the factory because it has stuff in here for their Arduino. I think this is just something somebody put together, but I came across it and it had all the information I needed on how to use this. Oh, well, with that, I don't think there's really anything else to go over. I'm not going to bother putting a schematic together for this because right here on the data sheet, there's a schematic on how to hook it up. And um, the only difference is I had the two push buttons. And you just go by this chart here on <clears throat> which pens to use, and it's easy to hook up. You should not have any problems. Okay, um, well, like I said, you can find the links for this for the data sheet on my uh, website. You also can find some links to where to get one of these if you don't have one already. And um, then I, I'll have a link on there too on that fart machine that I made. And that could be used with lots of different things to add sound effects to something for like Halloween or Christmas project you're putting together. All right, well with that, uh, I hope you found this information useful. If you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. I really would. So I'd like to thank you for joining us here today. Have a great day, and remember, have fun building.